Hello, my name is Kaeli or Ghoul Host, and today we're going to Spirit Halloween. I've been obsessively checking their website, I'm sure you know how it is, and one finally opened up near me, so I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm extra excited because it's carnival themed. They're really leaning into clowns and so am I. I did like a very subtle clown look today. I feel like clowns are having their moment and it's making me very excited. So we're gonna go check out Spirit Halloween. I might pick up a few things. I just like the vibes. Like I could just go in there and look at everything and be just happy to be there. So I'm gonna take you along with me to Spirit Halloween. It feels like Halloween is officially here once Spirit opens their doors. The carnival theme makes this year extra special to me because I love clowns and a dark carnival vibe. They have a couple carnival themed photo ops and interactive aspects throughout the store. What does that mean? <laughs> the little funhouse walkthrough was fun and a nice touch. The animatronics never fail to make me jump even though I should know by now that there's always more to them than just talking. <laughs> I really loved this handsome bear. Look how talented he is. I wish I could have loved this spider too, but I have arachnophobia and he was kind of freaking me out. Now on to the merchandise that they have this year. I own a couple pairs of their pajamas and I can confidently say that they are the comfiest pajamas that I own. I love that they made the normal babies creepy and the horror babies extra cute. I really want the little Art the Clown one, but I haven't found him yet. Of course, they had their classic Halloween decor and it makes me so excited for all of the elaborately decorated houses and home haunts that I'll be seeing this season. I'm a fan of anyone who is willing to spend money to spread Halloween cheer with their front yard setups. When do you start decorating for Halloween? I feel like interior is early September and then front yard is like an October thing, but I'm curious. These signs would be such a nice touch to a horror lover's room. I really wish that the trick or treat one wasn't holographic or I would have picked it up. Tim Burton, of course, had a corner filled with Beetlejuice and Nightmare Before Christmas. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is right around the corner and I'm hopeful. Here's a hot take. Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my all-time favorite movies, but I am usually not a fan of the merch. I do, however, have a soft spot for Zero. There were also some Haunted Mansion things. I'm going to Disneyland soon, and the Haunted Mansion is back open. It's Nightmare Before Christmas themed through the holidays, but I think I like the original a little more, and I'm excited for when it's back. So many cute ghosts. I'm really loving ghosts this year. I think they're so classic and easy to decorate with. Loved these little ghost pillows because it looks like they have little babies, um, but I can't tell if that's morbid or adorable. These wreaths were so fun and even more fun when I realized that they also lit up.
When I was little, I rented Goosebumps The Haunted Mask from Blockbuster and was absolutely horrified. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. And after watching it, my dad took me shopping for my Halloween costume and he put on a gorilla mask. I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life because I was completely convinced that my dad was now a gorilla forever. And I still am a little afraid of masks. I'm going to need to see some gremlins this Halloween, please, especially Greta. I have banned myself from buying any more graphic tees because I just have too many, but they actually had a lot of really good designs this year. I picked up a few things while I was here, but I'm sure that this is the first stop of many, so there is a little baby haul at the end. Here is my mini Spirit Halloween haul. Usually my first trip to Spirit Halloween, I don't go crazy. I just kind of like take it all in and see what they have this year. So my haul is very small, but I think you'll like it still. <laughs> first, I of course had to get the Terrifier Sunflower Sunglasses. Um, they say Terrifier on the side and they have like little blood drips on the inside, which I thought was a nice touch. Um, they are a little too big for my face, but I look ridiculous and so does he. I'm sure I'll go as Art the Clown sometime this Halloween season, so um, I just thought this was a smart purchase. These were $10. You know how in the checkout line of Spirit Halloween, there's a bunch of little things that you definitely don't need, but you always grab something when you're there? Um, this time, for me, it was this Neato Glowy Ghost. I've been wanting something to fidget with while I edit, so this was perfect because he's spooky and he glows in the dark, which is my weakness. He's just perfect. You can just, oh my God, he feels great. <laughs> I feel kind of bad because he has like this really scared expression on. He's cute. He can just hang out with me while I edit at my desk. The last thing I got were just some socks. Um, I thought they were really cute. These black ones have eyeballs on them and then the white ones are little knives. And I just realized that they have ruffles, which makes them 10 times cuter to me. So, oh, and these were $10 and I forgot to tell you my little ghost was only four. That was my tiny Spirit Halloween haul. I'm sure I'll go back to Spirit Halloween this season multiple times, so I'm sure there'll be more hauls in the future. But for now, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and thank you so much again for watching. I like really appreciate all of you so much. Um, you can find me everywhere as Ghoul Host if you'd like and I hope you have a wonderful and spooky day.